General Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. Oh, I'm. I don't. I actually. I'm not quite sure where I am at this current moment in time. We'll have to find that out together. But I was sitting in like the top, barely in the top ten. Ooh, and uh, for you, that's. It's just not. It's just not okay. Have you inspired so, a, a many a great though to come to the game? Is that your? I fault? Ha yeah, I feel like that is my fault. I've gotten pretty much my entire community obsessed with this game, and oh, the fun, mm. the fun, unique thing about this game is that you do see your friends' scores as you're going along. Oh yeah. So you have this constant incentive to be better than all of your friends every time you boot it up. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> You see that line? It's like, you know what? I, I can get that tonight. I can yeah. get that tonight. Yeah. I With don't that think being I, said, I think I might need to re I might need to reboot the game really yeah, shortly because my controller's not working. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, we're, we're ready whenever you feel ready. Now we're good. I mean, I'm always ready for Poosh. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a score chaser. It's a score chaser. You know what I mean? It's a score chaser. Sorry if I ruined your life. Okay, hold on. Let me yeah, okay. share this. <laughs> I'm not a professional <laughs> all the time. Um, Folks, you know what, though? That's why we're here in the dream races. We can dream to be professional together. This combination thing or something. Okay, I'm sharing. I'm back. You should be back. You've never seen this game before. Your life's about to change. Found it. I can say that confidently that your life is about to change if you've never seen this before. Okay, I fixed it. My controller is good. All right. Well, then we're good to go. So you go ahead and start, and that's when I'll give you your 60 minutes for... Okay, I just did the biggest boo-boo of all time, and I accidentally <laughs> hit the did quit you? it again. So it's gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was my bad. It's my bad. It's my bad. It's my bad. Okay. I, I'm... I'm, I don't want to be this way. <laughs> this is, okay, hold on. For context, this is my bedtime. <laughs> I love Jen so much. But I am doing this when I should be asleep. I'm just putting it out there. So if things aren't working, it's not my fault. <laughs> okay. I'm sharing for the final time. Okay. All right. I'm... I accidentally tab back in and my controller said, not today. Okay. Okay, we're ready. Go ahead and start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do the thing we talked about. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this, this today. It's time to get all bananas on this. Yeah. All right, hold on, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. All right, so folks, what you're seeing on the screen right now is all you're trying to do is progress down the lane. That is the whole goal of the game. And how many buttons are you using? One. That's the beauty of Poosh. So accessible. And there's quite a few different accessibility options as oh. well. Sorry, sorry, I get mad. Okay. It was a warm-up. It was a warm-up. It was a warm-up. It was a warm-up. Okay. <laughs> and there's quite a few accessibility options as well in this game, if I'm not mistaken. There's there's quite there's quite some things. Yeah, we can look at that in a little bit. Uh, I like it. There's there's quite some it's quite lovely. I do experience uh, seizures and other uh, sensitive neurological things, and this game has has been great uh, in in not aggravating those things. So it's as someone who has arthritis and deals with a lot. I sometimes you just want a one button situation. Yeah, exactly. Simplify everything, please. Yeah. And folks, if you're paying attention, your score is at the very top of the screen, and then your power up is right below that, and it gives you the timer before it's gone. So you can know how you would like to maximize it, just like D was doing. Yes. And pretty much everything is out to get you. Yes, everything is mean. <laughs> it looks pretty. Very welcoming, but don't fall for it. It's a trap. Yeah, and the power-ups aren't necessarily beneficial every time. That's true. I remember when I played a little bit of this, <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> um... Okay, oh, that was bad dang, with me. Dang. <laughs> it's because I'm using this banana. I'm very superstitious about which poosh balls I use. Mm. 
Well, that's why it's the and, warm up one, right? Yeah, because this is my warm up. This is warming up. I generally will average about ten thousand. Okay. A run, but my high score is above, I believe, twenty thousand. We could look at it shortly. Cool. Uh, I don't know what the world record is at this moment, but oh. we can also look at that. But, Excellent. you know, it doesn't matter because we're going to get it tonight. Yeah, we're going to get whatever it. number you finish with by the end of the evening. That's going to be it. So whatever. Yeah. Yeah, 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 obviously, obviously. Also, folks, how's the music? What do you think? Pretty chill, right? Yeah. Shout out to very handsome Billy, a fellow Twitch streamer who did do the music for Poosh. Even though he told me to, quote, get good at the game. <laughs> I made the music, but you, you just go get good at it, okay? All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Dreamers, if you're curious right now, 8-Bit D is the one performing. Can we get a shout-out for 8-Bit D? You can even shout <gasps> her out. She has her custom own command. What? So, go ahead and type in exclamation point 8. You don't even have to be a mod. 8 bits cuz I like retro games. Get it? Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Use ah, the to our advantage though. I was or why is or why is I'm getting up there. I got to drop the banana. Hold on. Yep, let's take a look at the score. Banana's out. Yeah, I'm 11th in the world right now and that's just not going to fly. I need to get my number 1 back. Dang, but over 20,000 is uh is he like, like, look at that. He's, he's got a, got some work to do tonight, folks. All right? So we're going to have to get hyped. Once you start seeing past 10,000, past 15,000, we got to see some hype in the chat. All right? I would like to point out that I am ahead of Adam Vision, though. Oh, perfect. So that's great because he's my arch nemesis. So it is perfect. And yes, there is a Felicia Day skin. There's also a Grand Pooh Bear skin. Uh, if you pass their skins, you have the... the the, the freedom to use those all the time. And then they can actually take it back from you. Is that correct? Yes. If they get a higher score, they will take them back. Pretty interesting, I, right? Folks? Yeah. I don't, I have to, I gotta see where Felicia is. I, I pass her so often. I don't remember <laughs> where she oh, is. Man. You heard it here. Know. You heard it here, folks. I, I, I can tease Felicia. I love her, but... <laughs> She got me killed in Fortnite last time Ooh. we played together, so I'm allowed to tease her about Poosh. That was a user error. Okay, I, I was like, maybe there's something I'm not seeing here. No, but this is my favorite of all the Poosh balls, which I was so excited about it that I totally messed up. <laughs> You're like, fine. look at this thing. Oh, God. There we go. Okay. Beat her last one. We're going the right direction, folks, which is up. I also have a curse oh. that I wasn't going to share, which I'm going to share now because I keep losing and yeah, embarrassing man, myself. Is, yeah, you got to reverse it now by doing that. Yeah, I have a curse where I have only gotten my high scores and PBs while on calls with Adam Vision. Uh-oh. The, the, the developer of this game. So, so, so. so <laughs> it's, it's something about his voice is just so, I guess, you know, it just irritates me so much that I, I just suddenly get high scores. <laughs> The motivation to just show them that, hey, your game's way too easy. I got this thing. Yeah, I guess so. For, for, for you know, legal purposes, we are we are very good friends, so I'm allowed to, to be toxic. <laughs> but, you know. You know, folks, it's that, it's that, you know, toxic, positive, toxic, positive kind of thing going on, you know? It's yeah, cool. it's fine. Yeah. Now you got to, you met Adam because you were with us at TwitchCon. Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah, we were all squatting up. We were squatting up, as the kids say. Yes, we we, we were doing... I mean, what you just said was... Uh, oh, gosh. It was... Uh, base? Lit. Lit, fam. Oh, base. Yeah, it was base. <laughs> I have a lot of... I have a lot of base takes. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm trying so uh, hard. Am I still trendy? Am I still hip? Are we cool? <laughs> On this retro video game channel, are we cool? <laughs> are we, please? Oh, man. I just don't know. I never got this competitive with Adam's other games, but I do love 
Ding Dong XL, which is probably the one that introduced me to this sort of one button, you know, take over your life while you're maybe, yeah. you know, on the toilet, maybe, maybe, you know, doing your business or waiting for a doctor's appointment or whatever, you know? Ah! Oh, that was really, sorry. <laughs> that was really close. That was amazing. Somebody clip that. All right, we're in game. We're in gamer time. This is gamer. This is gamer. We're in gamer mode now. We're gaming. We are gaming. I'd like to remind you all that we are now gaming. It's gamer hours. Ooh, okay. Uh, also, the game cheats. Yes. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay. So I think if I had to give a tip for Poosh, uh, it would definitely be to play slowly. Okay. You have a lot more time. I see that one was totally user error, but I you have a lot more time than you think you do. Okay, I was curious about that. Because you're waiting for that little line at the bottom to catch up with you. Okay. So we have this like big neon line at the bottom there. That's going to slowly creep off if I just sit here and chill for a second. Yeah. And it's it's deceivingly a long amount of time. Like oh, we're still right. sitting here. We're having, I call it like tea and coffee. It's like a little, you have a little cookie with your tea. Okay. And okay. that's like how long it takes. So I think what happens to a lot of people who I watch play this they get they get so caught up in making the moves really quickly that they don't realize that they have all that extra time. That's a good point. I didn't realize that either because I would have probably about a good two seconds before you took off is I would have been like, oh my gosh, it's too long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I I was I was slightly distracted looking at the line trying to figure out how much breathing time I had in the last run and that's why I died at 14k, but. Highest score of the night so far. Yep. So, and it was almost fifteen, get folks. Fifteen's just right around the corner. Don't don't you don't yeah. you worry. No, yeah, that's that's easy. The game got a pretty big update recently too. Uh, so there's some different elements in different places that I'm still getting used to. Oh, okay. Like for instance, these black holes that you're seeing right yeah, here on the yeah. right. Those were not always a popping up right then and there. Uh, oh, that's something up Adams updated this and kind of changed it so i'm still getting used to some of those changes which is exciting because it keeps it fresh okay it keeps it fresh but uh it is also something i'm just not used to seeing i'm visually i'm like wait ooh, shiny and ooh, then i yeah exactly because it, it's know? so pretty yeah the game is this game is beautiful this is like my i'm a big fan of tron oh. and like uh this power up is really neat i'm a big fan That's of sick. that kind of neon aesthetic so i am all about this it just it like tickles my eyeballs <sighs> uh, that's the first time i've ever seen that power up that power up was awesome yeah that's a new one that just got added it's pretty neat but yeah i am one of the streamers that have uh a score kind of embedded i guess in the game so whether you play that ah, whether you play this on uh the phone mobile devices or if you're playing this on a let's go with this ball this one uh you will see my score no matter what so if you want to try to beat my high score and some other streamers friends that we have in the community they will pop up and you will pass them they'll have a little twitch symbol next to their name how cool is that which folks? Is neat. yeah so if you all want to challenge me come at me and right now, folks, you, you could get a gosh darn free version by hitting exclamation point raffle and, and potentially winning. What? Free? Free. Free? I love. Come on. Be free. For free. Oh, my God. It rhymes. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm too obsessed with rhyming. It's it's definitely. Ah! Okay. I deserve that. I deserve that. Listen, I'm, it's my it's not my time. It's it's you know, I'm I'm waking up. I'm just waking up. Wait for me in 20 <laughs> minutes when I'm awake. Because <laughs> you, <laughs> you need to take a nap to be able to, to do this tonight, right? I tried to take a nap. Oh, it didn't okay. really it did it wasn't a very successful nap. Fair. So fair. I'm um my brain is, you know, 
It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm motivated by the dream. <laughs> the okay. dream. The dream to get the new world record. All right. Or maybe it's you yeah. folks. Maybe you're the one who's going to get the new world record. Especially maybe. Raffle. Get in there. Yeah. The real enemy is I found out way too late that I don't have coffee in the house. <gasps> no. So this is, this is a sleepless, coffeeless run. But it's fine. I mean, if you pull that off, like literally no performance enhancers. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. I know. I gotta, and I gotta, you know, I gotta, Erica's out here speed running. Uh -huh. I gotta, I gotta deliver, you know? Erica, Erica was very, so good. I know. I'm like watching this and I'm just blown away by her ability to just know a game inside and out and be so good at it, you know? Well, and the best part was, was because she had to skip through the cutscenes. She basically did the cutscenes for us with great commentary and just a bunch of great jokes snuck in between. I'd like to uh, call out uh, something oh, no. I saw in the chat, and I think that it's the creator of this game is clearly out to get me. Uh oh, uh oh, folks, the dev is here. Watch out! Mayhem is going to ensue. <laughs> I just like, can you imagine? I'm out here saying all these nice things about Poosh, and this is how it happens. It's pretty absurd, actually. It's pretty absurd. I was like, hey, I'm going to be playing your game in this thing because hashtag I'm a good friend. You know? Hashtag, I, even hash yep. I even hashtagged it. I hashtagged it. Also, this is. I took it back. This is my favorite ball in the game. It is literally, <laughs> it makes this absurd sound every time that it, it goes. And I am obsessed with it. But also, yes. Yeah, so all the names that you see me passing are my Steam friends. Unless oh, they have a little awesome. Twitch symbol. If they have a little Twitch symbol, then that's just someone who's everyone can see. But so you literally can get the game and then race all of your friends. And then you have bragging rights all the time. You know? And like, bragging rights is actually one of the most important things known to mankind. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That's really what it's all about. This game taps in into that. See? Yeah. I... This is going to be tricky. Oh, yeah. That was really... That was a really tricky spot. That was a tricky spot. <laughs> but, yeah. It's fine. You're not wrong, Pinball. You're not wrong. That was... That was, I was, I don't know. I don't know. And my friends want me to have less bragging rights. <laughs> Ghosty. <laughs> we got this. It's fine. I've learned some really interesting things about my brain and how it works through this game. I, I've i learned through many, many hours of playing this that I need to be distracted either in a meeting, listening to something, listening to somebody or just completely on a rant about yeah. like on a soapbox about a serious topic and then I'll blink and I'm like, oh wait, I'm about to get a PB. Ooh, all right. So folks, we or, need to yeah. the most, <laughs> I need to like, get me, you know. Get me on a soapbox. Oh wait, hold on. This is my favorite power up. Let's go. Look at this. Look it's at this absurd. one. It's so good. This is one of the only ones that will smash through literally everything. Look but you're not immune to the wall, so it can uh -huh. still screw you over. Okay. But yes. it's adorable. It's adorable. Yes, distract with a hype train for General Andrews. <laughs> oh, did I say that? Or, folks, we could go ahead and get those exclamation point fun out there. We do have two fundraisers going on that right now. That is true. We do. That's what I should have. I should have. I should have. That if we got like a fundraising train going. You know, that would be kind of cool. Now, you're not going to see an alert pop up on my uh, stream because preferably we want that money going directly to the individual. So it's there ASAP. No additional processing time. No fees being taken out more than already happens in these scenarios. Mm -hmm. So... That way we can get as much of that money to them for the generosity that I know y'all have been bringing tonight. It's really cool that you do this because this, I got to witness the greatness of the dream races when y'all helped us out with the lupus fundraiser. Yeah, go tell. Oh man, that was our largest event. This is now our second largest event. That was our second? largest. <gasps> yeah, you're part of the second largest event. Go tell wow. was the largest event for the dream races. Yep. That's amazing to hear. 
It was it, it was stellar. Like, and that's why when you were like, "Hey, uh, you know, I'm kind of thinking," I'm like, "Um, yeah, you should you should do this game over yeah, here." Yeah, I think it's so cool <laughs> that you do this because, like, I'm I'm not listen. I'm not a speedrunner. I am pretty open about like having some brain disability issues, things like that. Uh, so when you were like, yeah, you could do a high score run, I was like, what? This is amazing. <laughs> um, and yeah, as someone who like, I also was a competitive Tetris player and I think this game definitely taps into that in a, in a way. Yeah. Uh, the obsession with seeing the number go up and all of that. So, you know, maybe, maybe, yeah, I think you should, we should see all these cool people racing, doing these types of games. That would be really cool to see. I think that'd be awesome, especially folks, if we get to the point where maybe we have like what he was saying, maybe like, a you know, one on one or, you know, one V one V one things of that nature. Feel free to start getting creative with your ideas because we probably have a place for it here on the dream races. Yeah. Race me. Who wants to race me in Poyo Poyo Tetris? <laughs> race one of the greatest Tetris players in the United States, maybe? maybe. Well, not ranked currently, but was at one point. But, How long ago okay. was that? Because I think that's such a cool thing. I think that I so did Tetris competitively through early 2000s, took a bit of a break, got back into it, got really into competing in Tetris Attack. Oh. Uh, and then took another breather, went back to Classic Arcade V2, and then got the opportunity to compete in front of Alexi, the creator of Tetris wow. himself. Is that the photo? Yes, that is the cool. Model. Cool. I got to meet him after. I was all sweaty uh, and <laughs> yes. nervous. And uh, yeah, and I know they do competitions now for Tetris Effect, which is a beautiful game if anyone hasn't seen uh, it in no, all its glory. It. It's a new, it's, it's got VR now. It's all wild, oh. but it's a beautiful high res Tetris with lots of music and. I think it's not as popularized on Twitch. I think there might be some, you know, DMCA issues oh, with it. Oh, gotcha. Uh, but it is, it is great. Uh, it's very mellow. Like, as someone with anxiety, it's such a nice, calming way to play Tetris. Well, uh, folks, if you decide to play that game, what you could do is you can mute the game and use Bonsai Beats, which is DMCA-free music, while you're playing it. So that way you don't get hit with those strikes. It's true, although I will say everyone should enjoy it off streams and oh, enjoy absolutely. the music because the music is incredible and such a such a part of the experience. Absolutely. It's so good. But it also has competitive modes and you can play with your friends. Uh, can someone tell? I think that if everybody <laughs> just added Adam Vision and told him to stop being so terrible to me that maybe that would be the distraction I need to get my PB back. Thank you. All right. Well, Dreamers, you heard the request from D. It's, it's up to <laughs> you now. It's out of my hands. It's really just the audacity, you know. <laughs> the it's the audacity to me. <laughs> I think it's a bitterness that my high score is higher than his, honestly. Because it's kind of embarrassing when you made the game, you know, to be lower than the people that play it. I'm just saying. Oh, we got a Raycon and <laughs> Vegan Viking Gaming. Thank you for bringing your community on over during the Dream Races. Right now, we're watching Poosh XL be played by a former world record holder of this game, 8 D. Hey, everyone. And now, it's me. And now she's doing really cool things with an automatone. I yeah, it might be distracting me, but I love it so much I don't want to let it go. I just love hearing the little ah, ah. I have one of these in my apartment and I don't play it enough. It's it's a truly brilliant instrument that needs more love. Oh man. It's yeah, it's really funny because like uh Spassy's actually really good at playing that instrument. Really? Yes. How yeah. did I not know that? Spazzy's someone of very many secret talents, yes. I think. Yes. Once he gets back to stream, and definitely uh, you're going to have to bug him one time to say, hey, let me see those skills. He'll totally show it I off. Spazzy. I love Spazzy. I miss y'all. Hanging out with uh, the Dojo Crew IRL is a gift that I hope everyone gets to experience someday. Oh, I'll folks, just say that. It, it, was, it was so wonderful being able to spend time at numerous cons now, too, which is awesome. Not just TwitchCon, yeah. but also PAX. Yeah, we got to hang out in Boston. In Boston. Was, in Boston. Oh, nah. That's it. That's, that's game. I got to change. I got to change away yep, from this. You got to. You called it. Sweet. 
I gotta do it. I gotta go back. Now, this ball is of a friend of mine. I was originally... Yeah. So, this game has some cool features, and one of them is that you can have a push ball that, uh, like this, is your Steam profile photo. And uh, I know a lot of you are like, D, what is that picture? That's not you. Well, <laughs> I was actually going to change it to General Andrews today, but, you know, through the day slipped away from me, and I forgot to do it. Uh, so, it's my friend, uh, Sandeep, eating Thin Mints... Uh, who very because who wouldn't? But no, I'm gonna tell you, he eats them incorrectly. Oh, I'm not one to police how people eat. You know, you do you, live your life, all that. Uh, Sandeep dips thin mints in milk, and that just feels criminal to me because there's no absorption. Oh yeah, wait, because the coating kind of wait what? Yeah, yeah, it just feels wrong. Oh, so okay. that's okay. why this is my profile picture. I'm <laughs> taking a, a a political. I'm taking a political stance against. <laughs> that so folks this is probably like one of the only times in the dream stream and the dream races will ever be political and here you're you're witnessing it right now yeah. <laughs> all right here it is it's, i'm really passionate about this topic <laughs> uh it's it's not okay i'm i'm really just out here trying to raise awareness i think it's wrong and i've tried to further remind people that it's not okay by showing them criminal acts in my steam profile <laughs> picture in case you were confused and you were like concerned. You like saw it and you were like, oh my God. Okay, 10K, 10K, 10K. 10K is not bad. That was like on the first switch. On the first switch, it was 10K. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank and this so is one thing that Adam and I can come together on and agree. Um, oh my God, the disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got disclaimers. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer is so good. See, I got the highest score I've had in a bit because I was passionately talking about the injustice of dipping thin mints <laughs> in into milk. milk. Oh, like, do you have that? Do you have any like hard food stances that you just won't compromise? Well, the problem is I'm already a picky eater, so I I have too many food stances that I just start I just know are me. Are, are locked yeah, I, in like that. So l l l let me take a, a, a think on this where I'd be like, yo, no. Like, I know one thing that I do that people think is criminal is how I cut open my avocados. Really? I I, how do you cut open your avocados? I, I, I cut open my avocados. Um, in instead of going the way that most people would, I'd wrap it around the, the, the side, like the where a belt would be, right? I wrap it around the waist. Yeah. And that's how I open mine up. That way I can scoop them out with a spoon and I can hold it um, easily. And uh, it's just, I, I prefer it that way. You that know? sounds completely sane to me. Like very normal. But most people, when they see that, they're like cursed. And I'm like, uh-oh, but I'm not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I know who I am. Gosh, that felt criminal that that happened. That felt criminal that that happened. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You know what I will say about you, though, uh -oh. Jen, yeah. is that you, I'm impressed by you. Oh, okay. I, You have the, the, the absolute, like, willpower, like I've never seen. We were full context here. We went to brunch. No, we, it was brunch in San Diego. Yeah, and yeah. this place is famous for, I'm, this is going to be a loss. This place is famous for its really good but fatty foods like you know french the whole nine french toast they've mm. like really they have the bloody marys with bacon and the whole nine and jen shows up and is like i'm just gonna have some hard-boiled eggs i think is what you ordered right you ordered like two hard-boiled like, eggs uh, a side salad yeah and i was just so impressed <laughs> i'm sitting there like oh let me get some extra food because it's my last day of vacation <sighs> And Jen shows up, and I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should be making more conscious choices. <laughs> but it was like, no, I'm being sincere, though. I was like, this motivated me. I'm like, yeah, you know what? You can go out and hang out with the fam and have a good time and not do the not compromise your, 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 what you got to do. Cause I'm in that phase right now where I've like had to completely change my diet around and now right. i'm like ah oh, when i go out to eat like this is gonna be so frustrating i'm like no it doesn't have to be actually you just can still do that when you go places just make the smart choice and it's yeah. nice to know well and what's really cool overall is like what gets put into our heads a lot of the times when it comes to overall like health and fitness are these real extreme ways of approaching things ah. 
And when it gets mm-hmm. extreme, that, that, that people feel like they can't make any kind of changes. And there's so many baby step changes that can be applied that there's a lot more wiggle room that people don't realize. They feel it's all yeah. or nothing. It's like, I have to be hardcore, you know, broccoli and chicken, or I'm just going to go ahead and have fast food for every other meal. And it's like, wait, no, wait, uh, wait, yeah. wait. There's, there, you, you can do some other things like like you were just saying when you went out, you know going out to eat you don't have to always have the 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 really high rich calorie super tasty foods it's like wait let me find some other tasty foods that still fit my um my meal plan yeah should we play the Felicia Day skin I, I don't I, really I think it's time to at least break it out <laughs> yeah we'll try Felicia for a little bit I love Felicia so. This will motivate me. There we go. We need some motivation right now. She's a fellow poop enthusiast, and okay. I'm all about health. I'm all about healthy bowel movements while we're on this topic. No of- good. I'm glad you brought that up because I've I've been trying to bring that up more again recently. It's been a while since I used to. So that's, that's one of the things I connected. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe Dee's actually making sure to educate people on pooping because like it really is so important. Oh my gosh, it would blow my mind. I so for context for anyone who doesn't met me, I'm a nurse, and. I, that's what I did before I was a full-time oh, content creator. Felicia just said, oh, interesting in the game. Perfect. I know Felicia. Uh, <laughs> and I was always blown away when I would ask patients, you know, in the hospital or whatever about their bowel movements, how many people, there was this sh- either a shame in talking about it, an embarrassment in a medical setting. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't make sense. You think that'd be the one place that would make sense. For it. Yeah, and on, and then a lot of people who were willing to share, but who just didn't understand what a normal bowel movement was and or looked like. Oh, and I'm like, this is a, this is a problem. Yeah, because that's supposed to happen every day. So you you <laughs> you're gonna want right. to know what you know is going They're on. They're like, oh, it's not supposed to be that color, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I it's it's I know we I joke about it a lot, but it's become a serious thing where I'm like, no, we need to destigmatize talking about your bowels and what yeah. your bowels are doing because that's really important. You should know what a healthy bowel movement looks like. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? I'm all about the poop positivity. You know. That's well, why we and, I got and, I got a poop emote. And, and the consistency too. You, you definitely want to be having them regularly, um, just yeah. because that that is also good for getting those uh, wastes and toxins just out of your body. Like when you take food in, folks. Unfortunately, your body can't use every absolute molecule of it. Some of it just turns into waste. Well, it's doing nothing by staying in you. It's actually going to yeah. cause you more harm than good in almost almost any circumstance. So make sure that you're regularly having those movements like this yeah. jam right now mm. yeah and what's really cool about the music in this game is that it does change the higher your score That's is I, I heard okay okay so like you'll hear as we approach ten thousand or so there's going to be like a key little change but i'm playing uh I haven't hit my stride yet tonight, so let's let's go with uh, let's go with this. Actually, this is my favorite visually. Okay, why is that? wise, because it spins. Oh, it's spinny. I was not expecting that. It spins, isn't that so cool? That is cool. I was not expecting that at all. It spins. It spins to win. Oh, I love this it. This is another power up we haven't used yet, which can maybe get you killed sometimes. But it. Oh, because it goes you so far. It, yeah, it gives you like more control over the ball, but it could easily get you in a sticky corner like that. So that's one if you're like just starting out, I usually avoid. That makes sense. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for all the poos. I really like yes, all these poos in chat. I'm glad we could have a poo spiring conversation. And this is another power up that's real spicy because it does destroy a lot, but you lose a lot of the control. And you could do that, oh. and you could just poorly time it. <laughs> no way. I really thought you had a split second left. That's what All I right. thought, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. I think I probably did have a split second, but I have a feeling that uh, the creator of the game has hacked it so that oh. I don't get a split second. Okay. You know what? I would not be surprised. Yeah. I feel like that's probably what's happened here. Mm-hmm. I don't no. know. Chat can, the chat can have their own theories. Everyone can have their own theories and, and speculate take folks speculate yeah. all you want mm-hmm. 
Yeah. What we do know yeah. is that we still have more than enough time for D to get the world record. So j just stay tuned because we're going to be celebrating this thing like crazy by giving away versions <gasps> of this game all night. We still have That's after so cool. after this run, we've got three more copies to give away. Oh, four left. Land, uh, right? So many copies of the game. So and if you don't win, it's on sale on Steam. That's not bad. I think. Can, can, can we get that link in chat? I totally didn't get the... There's always one thing I have to... <laughs> Great show, Jen. You missed the one thing. Oh. If, if one of my mods is in chat, ironically, Adam Vision is one of my mods, but I know he won't do it. They could grab... I have a command for this game that links it on all platforms. It's Ooh. really neat. That'd be stellar. Yeah. Um, all right, let's 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 do the streamers. Let's have a really good run. Let's okay. take it slow or just die as soon as I say. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. No, because you're starting clean. That's what it was. You yeah, this is it. This slow, is the run. Saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's really funny because everyone plays really differently. Um, I need to just do that where I die instantly ten times in a row and then I have like a really good run. But I was watching uh, another friend that streams this regularly max warwick who has a higher score than i at the moment uh and max is a very different style player i get impatient in the early rounds so i end up dying a lot oh, i don't okay. take the game seriously until i'm like at eight thousand. uh max however he'll stream the game and then the first push on he's like taking a really slow kind of methodical approach to every maneuver and he's got the patience and I always say I gotta channel that energy but I'm just I'm too much chaos I think in every <laughs> aspect of my life and I just can't I can't do it I get too excited I see like what's ahead of me and I'm like no that's not gonna happen like this I'm like oh no I have this limited opportunity now to use this fun this whatever we're calling this power up i don't know what it's actually called oh gosh and it put me in a weird spot oh yeah. yep you called it Do you oh max got it else? see max is there you go thank you max i appreciate that my mods are golden oh absolutely so are yours superstars look at these great in their people. own right look at all these great people aren't we so lucky just so heckin lucky pretty dang pretty darn lucky Everybody, and then all these fundraisers going on, people supporting fundraisers. That's cool. That's what Twitch is all about. So we really, I really want to thank all of you for, for let alone just being here tonight, hanging out with all of us, enjoying the ridiculousness uh, that sometimes the conversations between T and I uh, become. But you know, we're doing this for a good cause. <laughs> we're, we're hanging out, you know. How are the so. dream races? Well, we talked about bowel movements. Yeah. Um, breakfast. Yeah, br breakfast creates bowel movements. Nice, good, good. Yeah. World record or bust. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is it. I think this run right now. Cool. Is the world record run? Okay. Like, just I'm not like saying it is. I'm just I have a feeling, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just the vibe. And you're not one to I just say things. No, I'm not. I don't ever say things. No. That's my. I may be a streamer, but. I don't say thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I I always appreciate D's honesty because honestly, folks, you, you just can't get anyone who's going to be this good at a game and also so, so honest with uh, what's on their mind every single time they play, you know? It's true. See, Tove knows. Tove's like, D, please don't give away your secrets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Thanks for being here, Tove. I know D appreciates your support. A little bit. I appreciate Tove a tiny bit. Hey, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I was so tight. Like, I'm just, like, losing over here because I can't do anything. I'm exhausted, so I feel you. I'm just like, wait, wait. And then she does it. <gasps> okay. I don't, I'm sorry. I also get distracted. I'm going to tell you a secret. I get really distracted by the usernames that I pass Ooh. to the point where I have to ignore them sometimes oh. because like I just saw someone's username on Steam is Galaxy Honking Toad. 
And I'm like, wait, who is that? Yeah, who are you? And then I'm like thinking and I'm like, who made that their name? And then I get distracted. And some of them are maybe a little inappropriate, so I'm not going to say them out loud. But I get the giggles when I pass their names. And then I'm like, wait, oh, I crashed into the wall because I was too busy laughing at the expletive <laughs> names that I pass sometimes. <laughs> I don't know who that was. That's you, Jay? <laughs> well, good job, Jay. Good job. You got me killed, Jay. Because I passed that name and my head tilted and I'm like, wait a minute. Wait. And I think of our whole perspective, like, folks, this might be one button, but you got to keep your perspective straight, you know? Just right. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going with the Ludo ball, the lewd ball. Uh oh. All right. It's dripping. <laughs> oh, that's why I was like, I was like, okay, I don't know why, what, what does purple mean besides purple? And then once you, I saw the dripping, he's like, oh, oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, Loodle. There's a lot of these little balls are tributes to other games that Adam has worked on or created. Oh, okay, cool. So this one is for Loodle, which Adam worked on. And which number of game is this now for Adam? Uh, I don't really pay attention to any of his accomplishments, oh, cool. so I don't know. All right, good. We He's in chat, though. I'm sure he could answer, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you wanted to, Adam. He hasn't, really to been, he hasn't really been contributing much tonight other than insulting me or writing poop. So I don't know if he's going to be of much assistance. But you know what the good news was is that he did say poop because we really needed poop at that moment in time. So... Yeah, we do. I, this is, we're very poop. This is a poop positive space, as we said. Yeah, yeah. So at least he did that, right? Right. Yeah. All right, it's, cool. a, it's definitely like a pass. Okay, cool. Cool. That's what I was thinking. Like, like a pass or fail course, you know, in college. Mm, oh my god, I hated those. <laughs> that was too much pressure. <laughs> but those are always the classes that, like, okay, if I'm passing it, I'm like, no, I wish this was for a grade. Like, I aced this class, you know? <laughs> yeah. We always had pass fail gym, which I thought was so strange. Oh, interesting. I'm like, I don't know if that's. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get out of this spot. Oh, I will. Okay. Whoop. Uh, yeah, I never knew if I agreed with that. that very I was like, if I, if I put in a lot of effort and I have a really good mile, I don't know if I want to not be given any credit for that. Yeah, you know? like, you know, say I'm pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, good at what I'm doing. Yeah. But then uh, when I was in nursing school, mm -hmm. we had, it wasn't your traditional grading scale. A C, it was a C was the bar so if you got anything lower than a c you were removed from the program and you oh. had to start over so i was like that doesn't even feel that feels like pass fail at that point yeah that, exactly yeah they just came with a, a creative way of saying you know. right like why i was like excuse me that's too much pressure because yeah. i don't know everybody has a, if you have a bad day you can get a c on anything even if you're an expert absolutely so that one always felt really rough for me and especially with nursing where everything is so different. Cause I'll tell you right now, I'm very good at nursing. I'm a, I'm a great nurse. I can confidently say that. However, I'm not birthing babies and doing that kind of thing. That's not, it's not really what I wanted to be a nurse to do. And I don't really want to do it. I don't want right, to do that. Right, right. And I struggled with it a lot. I was like, oh, I'm going to get a C in this. Cause I don't want to do this. It's not for me. Cause there's so many different fields within that. Oh yeah. That makes sense. It's like mental health nursing is so different than pediatrics, which is so different than birth and babies, which is so different than doing paperwork because I plenty of people just do the behind the scenes. Oh, I guess that's true too. Yeah, absolutely. You're eating s'mores, Adam? Oh, I want s'mores. Yo. Yo. Protein s'mores. Let's go. Talk to me about protein s'mores. Yeah, this what's so funny is like a lot so many foods you could really just like make into like quote unquote protein this or protein that because a lot yeah. of people just, you know bacon um uh, powder yeah like a protein powder typically there's other ways you know um beans are another way that you could use I was as say yeah you know, like bean substitute for something yep absolutely because that way for those that uh, don't want to be eating um anything that's meat or um comes from uh the animal like that since it's a byproduct for whey protein. Um, there's other ways around it. 
That's so fascinating. Oh my god. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. You get, high, you get higher scores in the game if you make sounds like that. This might be game over. Oh for yeah. Me. There's not giving you the angle. Yeah. Ten, we're we're sitting at like ten thousand. Yeah, you are literally consistently getting that average now. So I'm ten thousand behind where I need to be. I think that means we're gonna have a a burst of success in the last ten minutes. I love it. I don't know how much time we even have. Oh, but... you've got more than ten minutes. You have yeah, eight. So you'll get to witness eight minutes of failure and then ten minutes of greatness as we get this world record. Can we talk about like a half an hour of greatness thanks to kimchi? creating that beautiful art for neon souls album cover oh my gosh that was the that was the amazing kimchi who i got to meet at pax east thanks to d and company yeah kimchi does all my emotes as mm -hmm. well for anybody that likes the little ghosts or the poos <laughs> or the poos uh, he's brilliant But uh, I really want some. You got me thinking about protein s'mores. I'm like, mm, maybe I could do that. <laughs> You're like, wait a second, hold on. Maybe Ideas. I'll do that. Ideas. Trying to get. It's just been all that's been the game. It's like, how do I make this this thing that I? I don't believe in guilt when eating. I really Good. do believe in treating yourself yes. and balance and stuff. But my approach lately has been, how do I make this beneficial nutritionally in some way? I just Thank don't want to have empty calories. I don't want empty calories. Did you hear that, folks? Th that Can you all please take just a page out of that book right there? Is that you do not need to feel guilty about the foods that you eat. You just make decisions, and from those decisions, you can create a game plan to be how you want to be. Yeah. So Dee's got like, her well. game plan that she wants to have in place, and so she's going to make the foods that she enjoys healthier. <sighs> yeah. Great. Great cause. Like like I want wings today. I'm gonna make cauliflower wings instead. Boom! See, that's so good. That's what I did yesterday, and they came out really good. I was really happy. That's awesome. That's so awesome. You know, cauliflower though. Congrats on cutting out soda. That's hard for a lot of people. That's a hard one. That's that's a struggle for a lot of people I know. I was never a soda person, but I can't imagine. I used to be, but I was I, I was an individual that like was so obsessed with my teeth that i eventually like at a young age i switched from dark colas uh to like sprite for example because mm -hmm. i'm like no no mm -hmm. no and then eventually that made it easier because so many other sodas i wasn't having typically where it's like yeah. oh, all right i can do this i can get away from having soda especially if it means i'm not gonna get muscle mass no i'm tired of being skinny <laughs> That, that, folks, that, that's, that's me. And so a lot of people ask, like, so how did you do it, Jen? Well, there you go. That, that, that was my motivation, my my inspiration to get away uh, from it. I just, you know, it's keeping me from getting my goals. Well, then I don't want it. Uh-oh. We got some grannies. Oh, my God, Adam. Like, <laughs> that's what I've been giggling about. That's the person I keep passing that I keep dying when I see their name because so, I keep giggling. I'm <laughs> trying not to say it on the stream because so I didn't know if it was appropriate. <laughs> well, you, it's PG-13, so you get one. You know? Adam knows. Too. He knows that's what I'm giggling about and why I keep dying at 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Uh, but there you go, folks. So... It's out there. If, if you couldn't read it on, on the Tron style aesthetic. Yeah, I do know. keep I do keep passing someone named Squirting Grannies. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But you know what? It's because they own a Super Soaker store. Who here remembers Super Soakers? Oh my god. Yeah. I was so obsessed with them. Like, especially trying to get like the like all the different sizes. Cause like there's like the tiny little like pistol one, and then you have more of those like a little bit like a shotgun. Then there was like the bazooka styled one. Like yeah, they, <laughs> it got so crazy. I always wanted one of those, but I guess they were wildly expensive or something. Some of them were. They were way expensive. Yeah, because my parents were like, "You don't need that," and they wouldn't say that unless something was absurd. 
Exactly. Was like they bought me video games, okay, in the '90s, and that was absurd. Video games True. were so expensive back then. If, if it wasn't, if, it was, if my mother wasn't so into video games, I, I don't know if it would have been justifiable at the time. <laughs> yeah, I think people forget that video games haven't like suffered inflation like other things. Yeah, yeah. And that's why right now it's such a weird thing where the games are going up in price in some aspects you know mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. it's like what's happening it's like well actually if you go look at the math it's not no, that far we've been, we've been lucky for years video games have gotten cheaper over time <laughs> significantly <laughs> it makes sense too when you look at the, like triple a studios and what they're spending to make some of these things yeah true true like these games take longer to develop and they have teams of 300 people working on them for years on end. Yeah. It's absurd how wild it is. All right. Um, 5,000. I guess I should start taking it seriously and being a little <laughs> slower. It it's funny. just hard to play slowly when you have those. Uh, ah, that's the worst. When you have that, those black holes. Yep. Yep. You don't get a. Get, get your time to like take your time it's like nope nope it's gonna it's gonna get me yeah <laughs> so, you have out vision studios it's true i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the, the 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 other approach to this you know some people play tetris they like the wall style some people tip play tetris they like a mid climb okay i'm gonna there's different styles to push too i'm gonna take the slow crawl got it i'm gonna really sit here and be methodical See where it gets me. Near death, but it's fine. We're still alive. I feel like this game is almost always near death. So you're doing wonderful. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's gonna. Okay. Oh no, that'll get me. That'll get me. That'll get me. That'll get me. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Aww. Imagine if retro games had seasonal passes. Like you had to pay for a pass to have access to some i'm trying to think of what retro games would have benefited the most from like online engagement you know right i'm, I'm thinking like a lot of racing games would fall yeah in obviously that those the early days the f-zeros yeah like you know mario kart, mario kart that's, yeah. um, tetris tetris i would think so definitely that's that's had a strong competitive scene for a, a long time yeah oh fighting games yep i think of that yes free fighter very good point, folks. Didn't think of fighting games. That's true. That would be like number one. Everyone would have really been mad at Mortal Kombat then. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I remember how upset my uh, mother was that we wanted to play that game. Um, and uh, my uh, my pass, he was just like, what? No, no. These, ki these kids, they, they need to play these games. It's just games. They know what it is. That's how my parents were. They were like, if my kids can't tell the difference between this and like actual violence, like that's on me. Like my parents were so <laughs> yes. chill about it. Exactly. It's like, I always get like a talk, you know, just like when I was young, I was like pretty young when I would start watching Raid R movies. Um, I mean, typically there'd be certain ones they would know not to, you know, um, yeah. watch, but it was like, you understand this is not real, right? And like, they would not let me watch it with them until I said, I understand it's not real. And like, it's just so <laughs> funny. Like, no, like you, you need to say it, you know, like Jaws, you, Jaws, is, Jaws is real to me. Okay, mom. <laughs> yeah. Jaws is very real. I'm freaking out. Oh, that was that was cheating. Okay. Yeah, so I def definitely I'm, I'm very thankful for open minded uh, <laughs> parenting that I received. Yeah, it's wild. I don't know if you've noticed this on Twitch, but so many people are like I they've been using Twitch as like an outlet to finally play games they weren't allowed to play as kids. Like so many people I've learned just through Twitch weren't allowed to play video games at right. all that that was like i've heard you know for individuals that couldn't afford it which you know made sense again because we were talking about right. the subject of the cost but then um where that wasn't necessarily the case it's just no they weren't allowed to yeah that Whoa. is i didn't realize how prevalent that was because i just yeah. grew up in a house where like we loved video games and my parents didn't care that i was inside playing world of warcraft all day they 
We're like, are you happy? You like it? You getting good grades? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, like, all the other, you know, existing in the real world stuff, at least at that point in time, right? Because they didn't know that. <laughs> it's so funny. My my father constantly apologizes to me about like, I'm so I'm so sorry. I kept on trying to get you away from those video games. I I, I didn't know. I mean, look at you now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Funny. I love that in my parents' face all the time. <laughs> See, like, I don't ever say anything, but like, he's always like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. Like, I, like, I haven't even goaded you for a while. It's like, I'm goading you for not remembering to use the hand towel versus the dishes towel in the kitchen. I don't care. <laughs> right. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. How could they have known, right? Like, no, who would have? It was such a baby, you know, oh. Oh, nice. That was pro yeah. strats, folks. My brain was already given up on that. I was like, No, you uh, gave up on me. Gave, I heard you give up on me too, like in real time. Like yeah, I heard, no, it. Like it, I heard it, it. It was like, I thought I need to stop breathing. It was rough. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you did. You. I'm We're averaging ten. We're ten k team now. We got this. Cool. Cool. Let's go. It's gotta take ten to twenty. You know, it's mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. That time. Good time. Well, I think it's one of those things too. Like once the music changes, I think that's also going to really help. Yeah, that's what gets me in the zone. Once I hear the like, it's going to happen very soon as we pass squirting grannies. Uh, yeah, it's go. gonna, it's gonna happen. Oh, that's gonna be a loss. Yep. No! It, 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 it was happening right then. As I, I got distracted by squirting grannies. I got distracted by the. It's those gosh darn super soakers. Yeah, they were it's expensive. the super soakers. They were expensive. I want to do that. I want to go look up like a magazine from like a catalog, you know, like we yeah, had when we yeah. were kids and see what, how much the super soaker I really wanted really was, you know? <laughs> exactly. Like, wait, I, I was really asking for that. Oh my God. I think, I think my parents knew that I hated the outdoors too. They were like, she's going to use this once and yes. then never go outside. She's going to go back inside and play video games. Somebody's going to squirt her like in the face and that's it. That's the last time yeah. she ever brings it up. <laughs> yeah. I already had discovered, I had already discovered Final Fantasy 4 at that point. Oh, so I was like, game done for. over. Final Fantasy uh, 4. Yeah, that was it. Or 2 as it was for us back then. Yes. But that was it for me. I was done after that. There was no hope ever get me I outside think, again i'm trying to think if that was the one that literally locked me into rpgs i'm trying to see if anything else i could give credit specifically for rpgs a lot of people it was chrono trigger well that for me was after like i'd already okay. played uh final fantasy 4 and final fantasy 6 at that point in time um yeah, and so therefore same. i was already so like excited yeah. through the roof for chrono trigger my brain was like losing it yeah, I do want to say Final Fantasy uh, 4. The gateway. The gateway RPG. Because, like, I, I played Final Fantasy 1, but it was also really hard at that age. So, like, my brain wasn't like, oh, I love RPGs. I was just like, well, this is this medieval kind of stuff and, you know, ma magic stuff is really cool. All right, right on. Um, but, no, Final Fantasy 4, it was just like, I can't <sighs> wait. I can't wait. Like, I need to play more now. Yeah. Yeah. That was like the gateway game. What was your gateway to video games in general? Like oh, what the, game? The very did first hook game. The vi <laughs> Toad. Cheering from that lurk. That's so nice of you. Thank you. So, folks, we do have a lot of sound effects for our um, alerts. We just don't do them during the dream races, but you can still see the graphics. So you have kind of an idea of uh, what you could have seen there. And our follows also are anonymous. So if you want to kick back in Lurkland, please go ahead and do so uh, but my gateway to games uh was my mom playing super mario brothers the original and we actually just talked about this the other day that uh i remember watching her play it and i was so blown away that she was fighting koopa inside of a level oh she was the second loop right mm. so like my, my my brain as like five years old was just like oh my god that's cool you know I'm like my mom's good at games you know what i mean like that yeah <laughs> so for me it was mario that got me into gaming that's adorable i love that and i love that it was with your mom yes yeah like my mom got my father into games 
Not that he wasn't like my Aww. dad liked pinball. That was his obsession for games. Was pinball. Oh, pinball's good. But video games, it was her that got it, got him into it. That's so funny. <laughs> My dad was like a big fan of technology, so he always wanted us to have the newest console. Oh. Didn't play game, didn't play games at all. But like, it was if it's new and it's tech, we have to have it. Gotcha. Doesn't matter. Like he just was fascinated by technology, so he knew we liked it a little bit. He thought the tech was cool. He was like, "Yeah, we're doing this," and that was like his motivation. I think with that, he didn't play games ever. Um. And my mom is still is not a gamer, although this is the first game that my mom plays. Really? She yeah, this was my mom's like first video game is Poosh. Oh my she, gosh. She saw me streaming it and she was like, I I might want to play that. And I had been trying to get my mom into like Animal Crossing right, right. and other games forever. And she saw me streaming this and she was like, No, that's the type of game that I wanna play. And she went and she downloaded it on her phone on her own and like That's just so... went and started playing this. And she's, you know, my mom is, yeah. she's, she's not like, she's, she's my mom's in her, she's in her 60s. She's doing the thing. It's like yeah, wild. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's really funny to see. And I'm like, this is it. This one. Okay. But it makes sense. Like it's so accessible, you know, it's yes. easy to explain. And she, uh, she's all about poosh. That's so darn cool. Yeah. But, you know, All right, Poosh folks. is just not on my side today. It's not on my side. Poosh is not working with it, but he, we still have time for one more attempt here. So let's let let's root on for D. Okay, because she's gonna do it here. This is this, this final is the run. This is the final. final countdown. Are we calling it the pushing? Oh my gosh, the pushing is upon us. <laughs> is that? I think it's okay. Is, I think that's legal. Uh, folks, feel free to type an exclamation point disclaimer just in case you know we you know just protect everyone involved just push in case pushing. ah yeah i let it go because i was thinking too hard about the pushing <laughs> you have time for one more it hasn't hit the 60 minute mark go for all right, it all right, I thought all right, right, right. Long enough right i was like no nah, she's gonna go long enough it's gonna hit that mark all right here oh, it is this no. is the real last one you gotta get on a soapbox about thin mints or something okay. oh yeah. that one doesn't count that one doesn't count no, no, that one doesn't count okay. it hasn't hit you're I good. gotta get on a, a, a soapbox about. You know what? I'll get on a soapbox about. Huh. I, I have a bone to pick. Oh. With food. Okay. I am very passionate about my favorite food, which is Funyuns. Mmm, gosh, Funyuns. And I am noticing a trend where a lot of people and companies are trying to create Funyun dupes or oh. Funyun like trips. This happened to me at Trader Joe's this week. I don't want to talk about it. So Funyun they phonies? had a thing, yeah. They were like, "This is just like Funyuns," and I was like, "What? A healthier alternative to Funyuns? Yeah, I'm gonna try it." Let me tell you, they were not the same, and it's the same chronic issue that I have found with everyone that tries to do Funyuns. They they lean ranch. Oh no! And I'm like, a Funyun is not a ranch experience. It no. is a it is an explosion, mm -hmm. a visceral, emotional roller coaster journey through a flavor profile of onion. <laughs> All right, folks, we got. <laughs> and that's, is so that's nice what it is. To, to, to stay up so late for us after doing like 40 hours of stream in the last two days on oh our own channel. Oh my God, I know. I'm sorry. I was so sleepy. I couldn't, I couldn't make you all proud. <laughs> oh, but we loved every minute of it. Thank you. Oh my God. So good. Oh my God. Thanks for having me. I'll make, I'll make everyone proud next time. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I can just picture it. Oh my wow. gosh. All right, folks. Wish D a wonderful night. Exclamation point eight. Or we can get the official eight bit D shout out. Either one works. Check her on out. Folks, you heard it. Lots of Final Fantasy, lots of retro gaming, having a heckin' good time, and sometimes talking about some very strong stances. <laughs>